The laws is supposed to go into effect in early March, as you noted. So because they were sued, does this mean that this law is held up f f as of right now? Right now, there is no change to the implementation date of the law. The, probably before it is set to go into effect, we will have some type of decision on an injunction or basically an emergency stay. And that's, I think, where a judge will look at the whole law and say, maybe all of it is enjoined, maybe none of it is enjoined, or maybe parts of it are enjoined. And we'll just you know, have to stay tuned and probably hear something in February on that. You, as you noted, you're in Texas right now, you're an immigration lawyer. So what do you think's missing from the national conversation because you're in the thick of it every day? You know, I think that what we all need to recognize is that this nation has a need for immigrants. So whether you approach this from a humanitarian angle or a fiscal angle, the reality, the bottom line is that we have an aging population in the United States. It's only getting worse as the baby boomers age and we're going to need people to care for them. We already have gaps in labor on all levels of the skill spectrum. So in agriculture and construction, in the semiconductor industry, we need workers. And what's great about the United States of America is we have people who want to come here and fill those jobs. It would be as easy as flipping a switch and allowing for an increased immigration system that could solve the problems of our economy. But instead of having that conversation, we have this conversation as if immigration is a bad word because I think it's such a powerful political motivator for people and that our so-called leaders use it to advance themselves and their campaigns rather than coming together and doing something like immigration reform or collaborative decision making that would improve the situation for everybody. And I think probably what's going to happen is the economy is going to suffer. It's going to get worse and worse until we get to a point where we just have to accept the fact that immigration is the solution. And I hope that we can do that sooner rather than later.